Alright lads, so today we're going to be reviewing Inform Gonzalo Castro, plays for Bayer Leverkusen in the Bundesliga, he's 5 foot 8 tall, right footed, he's got medium medium work rate, a 4 star week, 4 and 3 star skills. Looking at his in games, he stands out to his 89 vision, 88 short pass, 86 agility, 85 balance and 84 long pass. We've also included all the upgrades over his non-inform as a comparison for you, so you can see each individual stat increase of all the stats. So you can always pause the video if you want a close look at any of these stats now. So this is the team we were using in for Castro in, just a basic 4-2-3-1 Bundesliga team with Castro in the middle at camp. So now onto the gameplay so you can see how he was performing. Now looking at Castro's card, he does look like he has some pretty nice all round stats and that certainly is the case in game as well. He is like a jack of all trades and he can play almost anywhere through the middle, possibly lacking a bit of striker, but anywhere in the middle it will be great. Does have his great dribbling as well and great agility and balance. So great if you like to dribble, go on some runs with him. He can certainly take on and beat defenders with his dribbling. Plenty of times we went on some nice little dribbles with Gonzalo Castro, whether it was uh, creating space for a pass or creating some space for him to surge forward. And he is a great creative force as well. Does have 88 short pass and 84 long pass, so can pick out some great passes. Does also have 89 vision to back him up, help him out in that aspect as well. Now his shooting stats are not the greatest on paper but we didn't really see much of an evidence of that in game and he did find the back of the net quite well in most of the games we used him in. I think out of all the games only about two he didn't actually get on the score sheet so was great at finding the back of the net and he also did create a lot of actual chances for himself was using his dribbling to get himself through on goal and he was actually finishing it in the box so could not complain at all with his finishing and he did have his four star week though even though it was really sticking to his right week I thought he really did not take any chances on his left foot at all but it is there in his locker if you need it now he does have a solid defensive game as well so he would be great in that centre midfield role. Medium medium work rates, he's going to be hovering around the pitch, he's not going to be pushing too far up, too far down so he can control the game from the middle of a pitch especially with his passing. Or you can even try him at a CDM at a push, though I would suggest him if you're going to try that do try a 2 CDM formation because he isn't that strong, I think it's 64 strength so he, and he's short as well, I think he's only 5 foot 8 so I think you would need a bit of backup if you're going to try him in a CDM role but centre mid centre attacking mid is the definite positions you want to be getting into playing in so let's look at Inform Castro's performance stats. So in seven games, he did manage to get seven goals and he got three assists as well. All of his stats are on the left. All goals are on the right. Position map shows you where his goals were scored and assists are created as well. So overall, we're giving Inform Gonzalo Castro a great nine out of ten. Does make a cracking little all-round midfielder, and he is to me, he is worth it just for his sheer versatility alone in midfield. The amount of different positions you could play him in. There's loads of different options for your teams. Whatever team you want, you can find a space for Castro. But he is also a great passer, great all-rounder, and he can defend and attack with his dribbling. And also he can find the back of the net. As you see in the clips, is pretty adept at goal scoring, despite his average looking stats on paper. Real quality midfielder in my opinion. Now there is a lot of great players in this week's team of the week so far. It is a cracking team of the week for players so far. Everyone we've tried so far has been a little cracker. Now Hastro's price range is 25 to 50k and you can easily pick him up for 25k the lower end. So finally, we're just going to leave you with Inform Castro's positives and negatives. So as we said, great all round midfielder. Can pick him up at 25k. In my opinion, I'd say go for him at 25k. If you if you're deciding on him, if you're thinking about him, but go for it. He is worth it in my opinion with his versatility. We did certainly get some great performances out of him. Probably his price range will be dropped if you're patient and can wait. That's if EA ever get off their asses and change these bloody price ranges. Hopefully you did enjoy this review. If you did, please leave a like. It does help out a lot. Loads more to check out on our channel. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. As we said, loads more to check out. Loads more videos to come as well. We try to do the most in-depth reviews on YouTube, in-depth squad builders as well. So go and please check them out. Thanks a lot for watching, lads. Do appreciate it. See you later.